All right, this video is going to be on how to find properties on Facebook using Facebook Marketplace. First thing I recommend is going to your profile, making sure your profile is up to date, uh, adding that you work with Cash Now Homes. This is important. So when you do message, message somebody, if they hover over your profile, they see that you're active on Facebook and you do work with a real estate investment company. So we're going to go to Facebook Marketplace. So this is the little Marketplace button here. You can do this on your mobile phone as well. Um, so we're going to click on Facebook Marketplace. And typically it's going to pull up some houses that people ju just posted or some, not just houses, but anything that anybody just posted on Facebook Marketplace. What we're going to do is go to the left-hand side and go to Home Sales. We're going to click that. And then we're going to add a filter. I already have one in in here, but you can do any filter, you know, Mesa, Arizona within 40 miles. So it's going to pull up anything on Facebook Marketplace that says it's a house for sale within 40 miles. So we're going to apply. And then one other thing we're going to do is we're going to sort by the newest first. So these are the most, you know, the newest properties that were listed on Facebook Marketplace. So these are all the properties that people have posted on Facebook Marketplace. Some of these may be properties that are already listed with a real estate agent. Some of these may be properties that another wholesaler is listing on Facebook trying to sell. And then some of them may not even be available at all. It's just somebody posting, not necessarily a fake listing, but just a property for, for, for sale to generate some you know, leads and contacts with potential buyers or, or sellers. And that's what we're doing all, all, also. So let's go ahead and click on one of these properties here. Let me go back. We're going to click on, let's say this one here in Glendale. Listed 27 minutes ago. Glendale um, has a description here. It has a link here in the description. So let's go ahead and go to that link just to see what it what it is. So once you go to that link, it's somebody has a you know a sign up to receive information regarding their property. So most likely this listing is a from a real estate agent. If we hover over here. Um, it shows a little bit about their profile. I do see some of their mutual friends are within the real estate industry. So this most likely is a real estate agent um, posting this property, but you can message um, the, this person if, if, if you like. I think I've already messaged this one earlier. Let me click on. Um, yeah, so I messaged them earlier. Hey, is this property still available? Hi, Matilda. Yes, it is available for 2095. So this is a property that is listed with a real estate agent, but if we feel there, this can be a deal or there may be some room here for the seller to take a low offer. This is, this is a property that we can, you know, reach out to the real estate agent more, or maybe just run some quick comps to see if this is a home that, uh, um, you know, we'd be willing to say, Hey, would your, would your seller be willing to consider any offers? So let's look at another one here. Um, let's scroll down a little bit more. Okay, this one's saying Phoenix. And see this one, you can see this was listed twice. So um, we'll look, we'll check, we'll take a look at it here. So listed two, two hours ago, three bedroom, one bath, not for rent, call to schedule an appointment. And once again, here, there is another um, you know, link. So let's see where this goes to. Um, this is the same agent kind of trying to generate some, you know, properties here. Um, so we could, so this is somebody once again is, is you can still message out message to this person just to see what the deal is. Uh, but we're primarily trying to look for direct to sellers or some wholesalers that we could uh, joint venture with or, We'll work, we can work with agents that have it listed through the MLS as well, uh, but we want to be sure they're, they're willing to, you know, present any offers to, to, to a home seller because we're going to want to get a property at a discounted price. So let's click on this other one here, Rancho Levine. It says $349. I'm sure they mean $349,000. This, this was listed 21 hours ago. Let's see what the information is here. There's a price, $349.9. Um, 
and we look looking at hovering over this this person here we don't know if this is a wholesaler direct to seller but this is somebody that you can message as well i think i messaged this person earlier hello is this still available they haven't messaged back um but this could potentially be a property if this is another wholesaler we can ask them hey are you willing to you know do a joint venture if we have a buyer or can we market this property out to our buyers list if it's a direct to seller, you know, we can take a look at it and see if this is a home that's, uh, you know, worth it for us to take down as a fix and flip or to sell as a wholesale deal. So let's look at another one here. So once again, these are all within Facebook Marketplace. Um, these are the ones that we kind of like a little bit because it's a it's a manufactured home. Um, there's limited options sometimes for people buying these. Um, and these make some good in, investment properties for investors because they can get them cheap and, and they can rent them for a decent amount. So let's look at this property here. One bedroom, one bath has a description. Uh, let's hover over the seller uh, info. Uh, this looks like this may be a, a direct to seller or, or the owner directly. So let's go ahead and send them a message and just ask them, Hey, is this property still available? My name is Mateo. So we can message this person here and just see what, what, what they respond to. If they say it is still available, then we can take a look at it to see, hey, is this a good for a wholesale deal? Is this something we even want to take a look at? Um, and once again, majority of these properties aren't going to be deals, okay? But... Um, a lot of the calls that we make, a lot of the properties that we find as well, it, it, it's the same sort of numbers game, but within Facebook. If with Facebook here, you can make it a little bit easier um, because you're just messaging these, these people that you're able to get through a few more properties and you can do a little bit of, uh, you know, investigation on the property here up front from the, you know, Facebook post. So this looks like a property that is probably a wholesale deal or um, because of the website here below market homes and AZ. We'll search that. Um, so this is a home here as well that we can go ahead and see who the this person is. Let's go ahead and message them. Is this still um, available? So this is going to be a numbers game on facebook but you can locate some properties the the big thing to learn is getting the habit of messaging people making some some connections because even if maybe a real estate agent won't want to work with you on this deal if they know that you're a reputable buyer um, you can make a connection with them for a future deal this is another property here 359.9 five bedrooms that say coming soon. Um, it's this is a home for sale by an owner agent and there's not a listing agree, agree, agreement. So this is a property that we can message and see if we can work out something with the with the seller uh, um, directly. So these are the type of opportunities that you want to keep a keep keep an eye out for and just message them and start a a conversation and if you get to the point where they're interested in accepting an offer or considering an offer or we determine this could be a potential deal that's when you can get with the team at cash now homes to kind of see the best strategy to to go about to go about um, getting in touch with them on making an offer um, let's look at one more here for the four bedroom two bath in Chandler um, this is this is one of those 72 sold properties uh, that they listed on Facebook here. Um, and this is another home where once again, it's listed by an agent, but it doesn't hurt to send them a message just to see what uh, the situation is. So, you know, some of the messaging and the back and forth that, that that's um, the main thing you want to figure out if the property is available. And then once it is, if it's a deal, then we can start, you know, determining run, you know running comps checking out the overall all all property but if it's not a deal once again we're just trying to make some relationships with these people on facebook marketplace and the more people that we message the more op 
opportunities that we will have to either get a deal direct from the seller or a joint venture deal with a wholesaler, investor, even a real estate agent. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, the main thing, you have to have a Facebook profile and make sure your profile is up to date. You don't necessarily even need to join any groups or be active on Facebook to search the Facebook marketplace. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day.